Good morning. It is Sunday, March 22nd. Um, got up. I'm tired. But, uh, they're doing like, uh, I guess live stream thing for church. Sort of. Like, like they sent us, they put up on their, the Facebook page like, here are some worship songs to listen to starting at this time and then at 10.30, uh, message, the message will be begin or be posted or whatever it's going to be. The idea of trying to get everyone at least doing the same thing at the same time, trying to keep that sort of thing. Um, so I got like a half hour. But I want to get this, uh, what do I have? A uh, half pork loin into the slow cooker so we can get going. Um, as usual, I don't really have a recipe, but uh, you know, just kind of throw some stuff in there. I got potatoes and onions, those always go good in a slow cooker. So I'll do some of those. Whatever, just gonna try and hurry up and get that cut up and put in. Just kind of searing the outside really quick. That should be fine. Um, kitchen's a mess. It was already a bit of a mess, but it's now more of a mess. But it's it's time to go stop listening to the recommended worship, and then service will begin after that. Miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. So many of you know that the theme here at Life Church for 2020 has been out of 2 Peter 3.11. So what kind of people ought you to be? You ought to live holy and godly lives as you look forward to the day of God and speed its coming. That's a verse that we've been going through so far in 2020 and we will continue. So that was nice, you know, considering we're all stuck inside. Um, it was, it was definitely, I mean, like, some of the worship songs are ones that I listen to several days a week. You know, I'll, you know, put on a couple worship songs every morning. Um, when I'm getting ready for work. But to just make myself, you know, just focus on that and not do other things was admittedly weird. <laughs> um, otherwise, you know, of course... Lovely message from Randy. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, like, I'm feeling like, do I need to add more liquid? I might. I don't know. Because there's not enough right now. Um, clearly, because it's, it's largely above it. So I might add some more. So I added a little more liquid as well as an extra onion. It's still not like submerged, but it's closer and... I think it probably will be in like an hour once some of the vegetables have released their juices. And of course I'm getting hungry. Um, I got the the food in the crock pot. That'll be several more hours. So I'm thinking here, what, what can I make? And I got I got stuff here like for like enough for like a sandwich. But I, I used all the sourdough bread to um for just bread and butter the other day but i do have the french baguette so uh i'm gonna see what kind of sandwich i can make all right so that looks scrumptious toasted sort of the inside of the bread first and then assembled it and bottom should be toasted top should be soft i don't know i've been watching a lot of sorted so that helps with coming up with trying to try to cook something and trying to make it kind of look nice too, you know? It's like, you know, I only do so much, but something. <laughs> ah, and the sandwich was good. No better than usual on like sourdough, but it's good. Um, now, time to get on with my day. Uh, gotta get laundry done. I just got dishes in. I need to like, shave. I haven't done that at all this weekend. Just kind of push forward with the uh the day uh, it looks like 
it is switched to warm, so it's finished cooking. Wonderful. And yeah, it just pulls apart with some tongs. That's that's tender. So uh, I start. I'm just gonna have a a bit to eat. So yeah, that looks quite lovely. I'll have that. Get my fill, and then worry about packing things up after that. And that was delicious uh, meal. And I have portioned out. Everything else, I uh, made three sort of combos of the pork, vegetables, and sauce, and those will go in the fridge. I have just pork, and then two that are pork and some uh, some of the liquid. I don't know if this will actually do anything, but one that's just liquid, and then separated out the vegetables, and all of those are going in the freezer. Because I figure I'll have the three, and those will be, you know, tomorrow into the next day. And then I'll be sick of it. <laughs> and so the idea is then to have more in the freezer so in like a week or two I can pull them out then when I'm no longer sick of it. Uh, I've learned that in the past from previous times that I've done things with the slow cooker. I know myself now. <laughs> and so that's all prepared. And it's only 7.30 and I'm like, okay, I didn't get a vlog out, but I can't. I am so tired. And it's early, and I'm like, why? And I think, I don't know, maybe something's wrong, but I think it's just, I've gone, I mean, it was basically, it's Sunday evening now. It was Friday morning was the last time I saw natural sunlight. And I think it might just be missing, messing with my internal clock. I may have to do something about that. Now, uh, I do have to go into work tomorrow. I was able to get a, you know, the day reduced. I'm only there for a few hours. But I still do, do have to go in. So, um, I'll be doing that tomorrow morning. So, I'll have to get up. And that'll get me out in sunlight. And so, that'll help. But I might have to, this is an absurd concept. But I might have to think about maybe, like, tying open the curtains during the day some just so I get like some natural sunlight in that might help my internal clock because uh, I'm, I'm tr pretty sure that's it I'm pretty sure it's just that is starting to get out of whack and it's like 7 30 but my body's like Meh, end of the day because there's nothing else to judge it by other than just how it feels so it's like I've been up long enough we're done and as that's the case uh, I'm done because I'm just exhausted it's basically saying, I'm shutting you down now. <laughs> oh, well. Um, but yeah. No. Doing the, the slow cooker meal was good. That'll be some food the next couple days and then in like a week or so. Because, um, yeah, that was definitely... When I got that, that was part of the idea is... And really, it's an experiment to see if freezing it and thawing it will work. Because I've never really done that. But theoretically, that's like something people do, so it should work. You know, have to figure it out when the time comes, but, you know, I'm hopeful. Anyways, um, thank you for joining me. Join me as my journey continues. Bye.